Many have speculated about my relationship with Innate. Here are the simple facts. My connections with the company are well known. I believe I acted properly and within the law at all times with regard to my affiliation with Innate. Throughout my tenure in Congress, I have followed all rules and all ethical guidelines when it comes to my personal investments, including those with Innate. When it became clear that the drug I and others believed in fell short of our hopes and expectations, I held on to my shares rather than sell them. As a result, the significant investment I made in the company, worth millions of dollars, were wiped out. That's okay. That's the risk I took. My real concern lies with the millions of people suffering from secondary progressive MS who to this day struggle without life-saving treatments for their deadly disease. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I am proud of my affiliation with Innate. I may have lost most of the money that I invested in the company, but I took the chance to bring relief to those who deal with the dreadful disease of secondary progressive MS every day. The charges that have been levied against me are meritless, and I will mount a vigorous defense in court to clear my name. I look forward to being fully vindicated and exonerated, ending any and all questions relating to my affiliation with Innate. I've spent the last 10 years in public service as the Erie County Executive and as a member of Congress. I've also spent many years volunteering to give back to my community. Whether it was a member of the Federal Reserve Bank Small Business Advisory Council, member of the Board of Trustees of Kenmore Mercy Hospital, or as a longtime mentor to small businesses at the Center for Entrepreneurial Leadership at SUNY UB, the public knows my dedication to Western New York. Because my focus is to defeat the charges in court, after today, I will not address any issues related to innate immunotherapeutics outside of the courtroom. As I fight to clear my name, rest assured, I will continue to work hard for the people and constituents of the 27th Congressional District of New York, and I will remain on the ballot running for re-election this November. Thank you very much, and have a great night. Congressman, when you call the press conference, I came here all the way from the